Hey everyone, we are gonna do a fun little craft today. I'm gonna show you how to do a mixed media heart. And this is just gonna be really simple. We're just using a little, um, let's see, I think this is an eight by eight, yeah. We're just using a little eight by eight canvas board. So these are just skinny little boards um, that work great for doing mixed media art. Um, if you're not familiar with mixed media art, this is an example over here. This is my mixed media bird that we're teaching tonight. And then this is another one I've done. I'm trying to get that away from the reflection. Good morning. Um, this is another one I did. This is my mixed media chapel. So it kind of gives you an idea of what we're doing, but basically what mixed media art means is you're just using different mediums. So I'm gonna use some scrapbook paper, paint, stamps, um, all kinds of fun stuff and create a piece of art with it. So um, hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys get to work on one this week. As you are coming on, let me know you can hear me okay. Comment, let me know where you're from. And I am gonna pull up and get my little, little bot going here so she can send you the messages that you need. So give me just a second. How's everybody doing this Monday? You're welcome, Cheryl. I woke up on my Monday to a sick little girl, the birthday girl from this weekend. And so she's upstairs right now in her bed. And I'm down here right now. So as soon as I jump off of here, I'm gonna go check on her and make sure everybody is doing okay up there. Good morning from New York. I bet it's cold up there. It's rainy and dreary here right now. All right. Uh-oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Give me just a second. Okay. So what I'm doing is um, whenever you guys comment on here, you're gonna get a little, and this is something new that I'm trying. Um, you guys are gonna get a little messenger. Um, it's my messenger bot. Um, I named her Penelope. So she's gonna send you a message if you like seeing the Facebook lives that I do, um, you can subscribe to this and just reply back yes to the message that you get later on. And every time I do a Facebook live, I send out notifications and you will get notified when I am doing a live video so you can um, catch those. So that is what I'm doing right now. And it will also give you a link to my free painting tutorial. So if you haven't gotten that yet, um, I am doing something new that I haven't done before and um, I am giving away a full free um, painting tutorial to my winter chapel. I'll show you guys. This is the one that you get for free. So I'm gonna show you step by step how to do this painting and that's my little gift to you. So I'm super excited about that and all of that will come in the message that you get from me. All right, so we're just gonna turn this on really quick and we should be good to go. So hopefully that works. If you guys for some reason do not get a message from me, um, you can comment below and I will make sure and get that out to you or you can just message me on um, the Facebook page. Um, Allison said, when is your next Mommy and Me painting class? Allison, I just posted um, my unicorn one. I believe it is... March 5th, it's the beginning of March. So I'm gonna pull you guys up here so I can see your comments better because they kind of fly across the screen pretty quick. Freezing rain and ice covering everything in Herman, Missouri, yuck. I think ours is just regular rain. I don't think we have any freezing. I hope not anyways. All right, let me Sorry, this iPad is not wanting to cooperate with me today, so it's taken me just a bit. So while I'm waiting for that to come up, I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm using today. I've got a couple different scrapbook papers, and I just buy these big scrap pads from Hobby Lobby. They have a really good selection there. So these are just a couple that I picked. I'm gonna use an eight by eight canvas board. Um, and the reason I use a board is because it has no give. Um, sometimes if you use a canvas, um, you know, they, 
there's nothing solid in the middle there and so it kind of gives a little bit so these are easier to work with if you're doing mixed media you can use this or you can use um, wood so both work great okay great you just who is this Linda you just received your message okay perfect so we're we're good and we're working that will get you guys your um, free winter chapel tutorial I apologize for having to take this long too. I don't know why this is not wanting to pull up for me right now. So give me just a second. If you haven't already, let me know where you're watching from. We'll see if I can get it on here. I don't think these are caught up on my messages. Sorry, I usually don't have uh, this much trouble getting you guys pulled up. Here we go. All right, now, now it's working. All right, so showed you scrapbook paper, showed you the pad. I've also got a couple different inks here. Again, you can get these at um, Amazon, Hobby Lobby, whatever you want. And then I have this little alphabet stamp set this is in my amazon store so if you want the link for the amazon store just comment below and i will make sure and post that for you guys later because it has almost all the supplies um, that i use good morning teresa all right so i am going to go ahead and flip you guys around because with mixed media i'm going to have to um shoot hang on I need scissors okay This is what happens when you have a sick kid at home in the morning and you don't have as much prep time as you planned on. So um, I'm gonna flip you around because when I'm working on mixed media, I can't put you up on a um, on an easel to show you. So I'll flip it around so you guys can get an aerial view. So give me just a second. If it makes you nauseous, look away from the camera while I'm moving you around. Sometimes that bothers people. So we're just gonna flip you down here. And I'm gonna see if I can trick Facebook and flip you around really quick. I think we are good. Does that look good to everybody? Okay, I'm gonna go in I just posted the link to the Amazon store. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna straighten it up just a little bit. All right, so link is posted to the Amazon store. That is where you will see all the goodies that I use. My palette knives are in there. My, um, not scrapbook paper, but like I believe my ink is in there, my stamps. And if you have any questions, you can just let me know. I do have a lot of stuff in there. If you go to the one that says, um, the part of the store that says boot camp, that is some of like my very basic materials to start with. So I'm gonna grab some paint here and I'm gonna be working with a palette knife today also. So I'm gonna start with putting some scrapbook paper down and some palette knife for my background. I'm just gonna grab some different fun Valentine-y colors here. This is Deco Art Watermelon Slice. This is Craft Smart Plum. I know some of you like the specific colors that I use. And I love this one. This is a Deco Art Cotton Candy. All right, so let's scoot this stuff over to the side. And I'm gonna be using, sorry for that loud noise. Sometimes that helps crack the seal on uh, your Mod Podge if it gets dried out on you around that edge. Thank you, Gail. 
Okay, so what I like to do is just tear my paper because I don't want it to have like a perfect edge where it's going into the canvas. So you can kind of use this. I can line it up on my edges like that. I think I might make this whole thing my background. I'll maybe tear off another little section over here. So when you are doing mixed media, you can kind of tell. It's not like I really have a, a set game plan ahead of time. This is a very um, freeing and kind of creative process because you're just playing with it and figuring out what you want to do as you go. Um, so I love these because literally no one's will look exactly the same. They're all going to be different. Um, and you can just, you'll find things as you are working and going along, an idea will just pop into your head and you're like, oh, that'll look cute there. Or I'm going to cut this out and and put that there. So it is literally like making a collage and just playing around. So I'm gonna, that didn't get quite on my edge. Let me scoot that up just a little bit. So I put Mod Podge down first, and this is also a messy craft, I will tell you. I use my fingers a lot. This is just Mod Podge in my brush. You can use any brush. You can use um, foam brushes, or you can use just whatever um, kind of big brush you have at home. You do want to be careful if you use regular brushes like this that you make sure um, and rinse these and put them in water as soon as um, you are done using them because that glue will ruin your bristle, bristles if you leave it in there. So if you have some foam brushes, I would recommend that because you don't have to stress about it and then you can just throw those away. They're like super cheap. Sometimes at Michael's they put them on sale for like 10 cents a piece and that's the way to go. Thank you Gretchen. So I, I think I missed someone's question. Did someone ask me? I'm gonna go back up here. I f Maybe I'm dreaming. Did someone ask me if you could put this in a frame with glass? That's what I did on this one. So this is my, and this is on a canvas board, just like I'm doing today. Um, that's what I did on this. So this has glass in it, or I could take the glass out if I don't want that shine, and I just want the piece of art there. It's sealed, so it can be done without glass. You can do it either way. You just want to make sure your frame's deep enough that it can handle the glass and the board. But they look so pretty framed. That's what I love about the mixed media pieces, too because you can frame them and you can get as ornate or simple as you want to with your frames. So I'm just gonna go in, what I'm doing now is just pressing down and making sure this is nice and adhered to my canvas board. Now we're gonna grab some more, add it down here. And I have to show you guys something something else I got from Deco Art because they're awesome. And they send me supplies so that I can do all this fun stuff with you guys. So if you haven't checked out Deco Art, you can go to their website and get all kinds of goodies. But this is something I'm going to do on here too. This is like a, a metallic luster and it's like a gold, almost like wax that I'm going to rub on later also. Janie, mixed media is fun. And it is like, I literally, when I started doing this, went downstairs to my basement where all my extra crafty stuff is and found so many things that I could incorporate. All that stuff that you're like, what am I gonna do with that? Make mixed media piece of art out of it. That's super fun. So your Mod Podge also works as a sealant. So when you are done with this entire thing. You can cover it in Mod Podge and all the different paints and textures and all that different stuff. It's not gonna matter. You're gonna put one seal over the entire thing. You guys notice my different background here? I usually have my cutting pad that's just a huge mess and I decided to take it off the other day and I'm gonna paint over my entire 
surface, some fun flowers and different things, just to make it a little prettier to look at. All right, I'm gonna grab a little of some of my medium too. So this is matte gel medium. You can also use this like Mod Podge. So if you just have this, um, you can use this as a sealant as well as something to thicken your paint. So that's what I'm going to use it for today. Well, I'll probably end up using it for both, but I'm just going to take this and I'm going to scrape it on my plate. These are dried paints, by the way. This is leftover from Sophie's unicorn uh, or panda corn that we did yesterday. And I'm just going to mix it in with that cotton candy color. And the reason I'm doing that, see how thick that is? Usually the paint is really runny and this makes it nice and thick, a heavy bodied acrylic paint. And I'm just going to start scraping that on. It's picking up. I must have had some black paint on here. Grab a little of this hot pink too. And I don't want to completely cover all of my paper here. I want to leave a little bit of those edges showing. Just scrape a little here and there. We'll see if I like some of this darker color. So how many of you have done mixed media and messed with this type of thing? It's very fun. So you can change the direction you're scraping. I always use the back side of my palette knife. You can scrape long and hard or do short little scrapes, change the direction so they don't all look like they're going the same way. And see how it'll pick up different shades of that pink in there. And there is really no right or wrong to this. You're just having fun. Thank you, Mary. I think these are really fun to do. Okay, that's the lid for that. So I thought I would do a couple different hearts and show you guys a couple different ways you can do it. I'm gonna have like one main heart. And I like this one because it's kind of got like that wood green in the background. And if you prefer, you can draw out your heart first and then cut it out instead of free, free handing it, so to say. I'm just gonna get a basic shape and then I'm gonna trim it up here. But I don't like them to be too perfect. I think anything with art, if you make it too perfect, it kind of loses the beauty of it. So we'll do something like this. But before I do that, I wanted to show you a little trick. Cheryl, that's right, there are no rules, you just create, it's awesome. Okay, so here's my little trick that I'm doing here. So the edge of the paper is white naturally, but I'm gonna take some of my ink and this is black, or I could use that distressed, um, it's like a brown that I have, and then I'm just taking some of it and like rubbing the edges. So it just gives it more of like that vintage, aged look. So it is just so fun to just play with this different stuff and discover things while you are doing it. I get all my edges here. So 
So can you guys see how that just kind of added some aging around the edge there? So I'm gonna go back into my Mod Podge. And this is a little wet behind there, so the paint's gonna stick too, but I wanna add this just to make sure it sticks really good. And the reason I spread it with my fingers afterwards is to get any of those bubbles out that sometimes happen when you're doing this kind of thing. So I want it sideways, just like that. Just smooth that down there. And I wanna play and add maybe a little bit of paint around the edges. Maybe kind of just go around like it's little accents around the edges here. I don't wanna completely cover that up. We'll come in and add maybe another little painted heart up here. I'm gonna get a smaller brush and add an even smaller one, maybe with a different color. And I don't have any white. I'm gonna grab a little bit of white. Thanks Lydia and Phyllis. It is, it's very interesting to just kind of play with and you really don't know what it's gonna end up like. You're just kind of creating as you go. And Phyllis, I agree. I just started kind of dabbling in mixed media very recently, um, but I love it. It's just a lot of fun. I think I like the freedom in it. There, there are no rules. And you kind of just stop when you think you're done. I'm gonna grab a little bit of black go around this just to make it stand out a little bit more and it doesn't need to be so when I'm doing this I'm just very lightly touching down with my brush these lines don't all have to stay connected we want them to kind of be like wispy lines not perfectly solid ones So if you guys are not already in my free Facebook group, make sure you jump over there for that because this is where I will repost these videos inside the group. And then it's a place where I created it because I wanted to give you guys a place to share what you're creating. So instead of just sending me the photos, I want you to have like a little community where you can share what you guys are working on and post the finished paintings of what you learned from me in the live videos. So it's just a fun little community that we just started. I'll see if I can. I'm gonna see if I can pull that up really quick for you and post that link. You know what, instead of that, let's do this. So you guys are gonna, I don't think it's gonna let me copy it from Facebook. If you, um, if you want to get in the free Facebook group and you are not already in there, um, if you comment on this, um, you will immediately get a, a message from me, from my messenger bot. And it'll ask you if you want notifications and you can reply back yes. And then if you don't have the link to the free Facebook group, you can ask me for that and I, then I will reply back with that link for you. Um, 
Or you can, when you get off here, you can go to just my social easel page and there should be a tab somewhere towards the top where it says groups that I have and you can request to join the free one. Thank you, Carrie and Elaine. I think I wanna scrape just a little. All right, I want to add another little heart kind of later on top of this one, but I think I want a different, I want some different paper here. So again, yeah, I'm gonna pull another one. Here, this is pretty. A totally different texture. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of fun things. So I'm gonna make another heart out of this, and then I'm gonna cut one of these little flowers out and we'll cut, post a little, not post, <laughs> put a little flower on there. That's very cool, Jennifer. All right, so I'm just gonna, I want a littler one. Post this, let's see. I don't think it has enough contrast to be over here. Maybe I'll scrape a little bit of this down and then add that in. We'll go around the edges with a little bit of black. So I'm just using my palette knife to just kind of go around the edge of this. And I know black is scary to a lot of people, but you can practice. And if it doesn't work out, you can just cut yourself another heart out. So I'm just kind of scraping that along the edge here. And then I'm gonna paint, get some of my Mod Podge on the back here. Carrie, you could definitely add glitter too. I should have grabbed, my girls have about 25 containers of glitter in the other room for making slime. That would have been good to have in here while I was doing this. So I'm just gonna lay this down. I'm being careful with this because I did put black paint on there, so I don't wanna smear it. I'm gonna. Just gently push that in and try not to touch where my black is right now. All right, I think this is still a little bit wet. I'm gonna try, we're gonna try something here. So a lot of the times I'm just playing and you guys are just getting to watch me kind of play and experiment as we go. Thank you, Jennifer. I wonder if Sophie could grab me glitter. What is she doing? I think she's just in her room watching. Okay, I'm gonna try, this is not, you normally would not use this with a palette knife, but I'm gonna try it and see, because I wanna have some just really bold areas of gold on there, and that is really pretty, and I like it. Look how pretty that is. I love it. What do you guys think of the gold? Do you like that? I love it. I think it is so fun. All right, let me know what you guys think. 
Shoot me up some hearts and thumbs up if you like it so far. Look at how messy my hands are. Love, love, love the gold. I'm digging it. Okay, so here's the other thing I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, I said I was going to put a flower on here. I knew there was something I was forgetting. Good. You guys like it, too. I love it. It's so fun. I don't know if that flower paper is going to be what I want. Hang on. I want to look for a different one. Let me see what else I got here. Here, this is a little bit more. I can cut these out a little bit easier. So I love scrapbook paper that has, you know, these kind of florals and stuff on it because you can go around and it kind of gives a 3D effect. We're just going to cut out this small one here. And I may even grab that edge. You guys see that edge with a little bit of glitter? I think I'll put that around the bottom. You're right, it does kind of look like a butterfly. All right, so I'm just gonna, let's see, is that what I wanna do? Yeah, I wanna leave that little bit of contrast there. So I'm just going in and pretty closely cutting out around this flower. I'm glad you guys are excited to paint. I can't wait to see what everyone comes up with. I really hope you get in the free group and share your photos because these are gonna be all so unique and different. And you know what, if you have um, younger kids or even teenagers who, you know, let my, my teenager hates being creative. She tells me every day how much she hates art, so. <laughs> Um, she doesn't ever want to do any of this stuff with me, but my other girls love it. This is a great project um, for younger ones, too, because there are no rules, and they're just going to have fun cutting and pasting and painting. I even have some younger girls coming to my mixed media bird class tonight, so I'm excited to see what they come up with because sometimes as adults... We get a little OCD and we tend to overthink things and kids don't have that yet. They just have that ability to have fun and create and it's just so awesome. So where do I want this? Do I want it over here or here? I think I'm going to put it right here. Um, Norma, to get in the free group, if you um, reply back to the message that you got in Messenger, I will send the link to you after this is over to get in the free group. And you guys will also, the um, if you comment on here, if you're new and you haven't commented yet or you're just joining us, if you comment on here, um, and it can be anything, you can just say chapel if you want the chapel, but I am giving you guys a full free painting lesson, my winter chapel, and that will come in the message that you get from my messenger bot. So anything you comment on here will get you that message and you'll have the link to the free chapel. And then if you want to get in the free group, then you can just message me back and say, I want, you know, can you send me the link to the free group and I'll go back in there and copy and paste that for you so you can get signed up in there. So we're just gonna add that little flower on here. And I like the little bit of glitter down at the bottom. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Can you guys see that okay? So I think I wanna come and add just a little bit of white up here maybe. And I like to, I love my palette knife. Oh, there's still some gold on here. Let's use that up. So I'm just gonna scrape it and where it ends, it ends.
What is the PK? I'm not sure what you're asking. What is the hold I used? Let me know what you mean and I'll, I'll answer you. So I've got just a little bit of white. I just want to scrape on. I just like the look of scrapes of palette knife. So I like to go back and add some of these in. All right, so the last thing I'm going to do is add some words on here. Thank you, Angela. Oh, what is the gold I use? It's the, um, yes, this would, Cheryl, make a perfect Valentine's gift. It's Deco Art Metallic Luster called Gold Rush. So you can go to decoart.com and get this, or I'm not, yeah, Hobby Lobby has it too. They have a lot of deco art projects or products, but I have I have seen that in the aisle. Okay, so there's a couple different ways you can do the lettering. So in this one, I just did it straight on here. And then my other bird, where is my other bird? Hold on, she's right here. I love these birds. I really just want to make a collection of mixed media birds. They will look like you could do multiple ones, even like on smaller things. Like if you did these eight by eights or some six by sixes and did like three or four different birds and then hung them together on your wall, how cute would that be? I really love the letters cut out like this though. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna stamp my letters on some white cardstock and then ink them around the edges and then add them to my painting. So now let's just hope I'm organized enough that I can find the letters that I want. I'm gonna move all my paint out of the way because I keep sticking my finger in it. And if you guys haven't painted or created with me before, I'm usually a little random and messy and I'm not super organized because that's just how my brain works. So I'm sorry if you're OCD and it drives you crazy. <laughs> Linda, um, I do not have it up for sale on the website yet. I've done it in my membership group. So um, they have all already done the mixed media bird. I will have it up for sale later this month. Um, that you can buy it, or if you guys are interested in painting with me on a regular basis, the membership group is going to open back up in March, and we can get you on the wait list for that so that as soon as it opens, you will know about it and you can join us, and then you get full access to everything we've already done in there. So the Mixed Media Chapel, the Mixed Media Birds, and then all the paintings that I've done in my membership group, when you become a member, you get full access to all of that. And this is, um, the membership group is called um, Christie's Inner Tribe, and it's a private Facebook group, very similar to the six week boot camp if you're in there, except with this one, it's a monthly subscription. So as long as you are a member, you have full access to everything that we do in the group, and you can do it whenever you want to. You've got a whole library of paintings to choose from, and it's lots and lots of fun. So let's see, what am I missing here? I have some capital letters and some lowercase that I'm playing with. Let's see, I just had my A, didn't I? So let me know if you guys have any questions about the membership group also. I am glad you are enjoying boot camp. It's a lot of fun. We'll have our color mixing video up tomorrow. All right, let's see what I got here. I 
think I'm missing. I want to, I think I'm going to do love is in the air. I just need to make sure I have all the, uh, all the right letters here. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to use black. And I don't mind the edges around there. I kind of like the way that that looks. If that bothers you, you can actually trim your stamp around the edges if you don't like that look. And I don't try to make mine um, perfect either. I like them to kind of stagger. I just had my S. Or I thought I did. There. So how many of you watching right now are business owners or maybe you have been creating for a while and you want to turn it into a business and want to make some more money selling your art? I am, I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. I've talked about her a lot lately because I'm super excited because she's opened her group back up. Um, but Jennifer Allwood has been my business coach for the last year and in that year I was able to completely change my business so last January I had no online business whatsoever to speak of and after following her and doing the creators boot camp I now have 75% of my business online and 25% local and this has just really allowed me to spend more time with my family and change my schedule a little bit and not feel so um, strapped on doing so many paint nights per month, which I know my local people, that might make you a little bit sad, but we've got three girls, two in club volleyball, one in dance, and our lives are crazy. And it is nice for me to be able to have that freedom to not feel like I have to work so many nights away from my family. But Jen has opened her group back up the cart is open today. If you want to learn how to grow your business online, I cannot recommend her course enough. Um, I am an affiliate for her, and basically what that means is I will post my link for you guys, and if you sign up through me, then I get a commission um, for that, for referring you to her. But she has literally changed my business for me. So if that is something you are interested in, Comment below. Um, you can just say Jennifer Allwood or Creators Roadmap, whatever you want, and I will make sure and get that link posted for you. But I want to make sure that you know today is the last day of her early bird specials. So if you sign up for Creators Roadmap today, you get two bonuses. One is um, her, um, I think it's, what is it called? Seven like mastermind ways to make money online. It's seven different revenues of income. And the other one, is where she teaches you how to get your name out there through radio or TV and get that access that you need to grow. So I would love to have you guys join the group. I am doing Creators Roadmap for the second time. So I did it once last year. I am taking the course again. So I'll be in there with you, learning with you. But Jen has so much valuable information that if you don't have a clue what you're doing online, then you need this. Because I didn't have a clue what I was doing. Um, I knew nothing. And now I know so much, but I know there's so much more I can still learn. And so that's why I'm taking the course again. It's new information. It's different from the last time I took the course. She's got some special guests in there that I love, that I know I want to work um, Yes, I did. Thank you, Jean. That's so funny. 
That's why I can't talk and do this at the same time. But um, yes, I did miss the word the. Love is in the air. I'll go back and do that. But anyways, her course is going to be awesome. If you don't know what it is, Creator's Roadmap is a six-week course with Jennifer as your coach. And she's teaching you basically how to build an online business. And it was a game changer for me. I could not have done it without her. So I can't recommend it enough. Let me come back in and get my other letters here since I'm a dork and forgot forgot a word. That's so funny. Yeah, you guys, definitely let me know if I'm forgetting <laughs> forgetting a word. Like I said, you know, a little bit of a hot mess over here. I don't have it all together, which speaks even more to Jen's ability to train because you don't have to be a pro. You don't have to be, um, you know, in control and know everything. If you just follow what she says to do, it'll work. So a couple of you interested, Linda, Mid-Missouri. Linda, she can definitely, definitely help you. I would totally recommend it. She specifically works, um, I say specifically, she can help anybody in any business, but she has a creative mind like we do. She used to own um, her own business, I mean, creative business, and she, did faux painting and different painting finishes and went into people's homes and kind of the same thing I was telling you. It, it takes a lot of time when you have that, um, have that kind of job where you're making your money. Um, and then she was able to turn it into an online business. But I think that's what drew me to her is her brain works like my brain um, because she's a creative and I think we just think different than uh, normal business people. So, I love her. I love training from her. Um, it just all clicks with me when Jen teaches it. So, yeah, if you would like more information, just comment Jennifer Allwood, Creator's Roadmap, and I will go back and make sure I get you that information. So we're going to do Love is in the Air. And I'm obviously going back with the Mod Podge and just my skinny brush here. The more you can overlap the more depth it gives your painting also. The name and the brand of the stuff I used to make, oh, this is, my brand is Liquitex. You can get any kind of gel medium. Gel medium is what it's called to make it thick. This is matte, you can also get gloss finishes. And you can get that at any craft store. You can order it from my store. I have it in there. What do you guys think of the words? I like them. Do you like them with the white background and the little cutouts? I think it just adds to it. That will be awesome, Linda. Hopefully it's on a night that I'm working. So I have a mobile business. If you guys um, aren't sure what I do here locally, I'm in Springfield and I do not have my own studio. I travel, um, but I say travel very loosely because basically that means I go to restaurants inside Springfield that are close and I teach paint nights there instead of owning my own studio. So my studio here is just in my, I have my studio where I create, but not to teach classes. And I am again, cutting down on that and doing more like once or twice a week. All right. So we're just pasting these down. Thank you, Cheryl. Okay, let's take a look here. I always say to like, look back 
Like take a step back from your piece, look at it from a different angle. Is there anything you wanna change? What do you guys think? Are we done? The last thing I will do is once all of this is dry, I have to be careful here because I don't want to smear anything. The last thing I will do is go back and cover all of this with Mod Podge to seal the entire thing. But right now I'm just going around my lettering to make sure that's, that's adhered down. But some of my paint is still wet, so I'm waiting in the other areas to do that. So I hope this inspired you guys. I hope you go grab some scraps and some paint and find a surface that you can do this on. Thank you guys. You can use, this is a satin Mod Podge. So it's honestly, it's just, it depends on your preference. So this is satin. The one I have tonight is matte. And then there's also gloss. So, I mean, there's several different finishes. It doesn't matter which one you use. It just depends on what kind of finish you want. All right, so what do you guys think? Shoot me up some hearts and thumbs if you're happy with it. Tell me if I missed anything. I had fun doing this with you guys today. Um, just comment below if you want information. You know, I talked about a couple things today. The link for my Amazon store, if you're wanting supplies, is listed in the comments. And then you can message me if you want more information about um, Jennifer Allwood and Creators Roadmap. Make sure that you comment if you want access to the free Winter Chapel painting tutorial. So I got all kinds of different goodies going on for you today. And then, of course, our free Facebook group where you guys can share all the fun stuff that you're creating in that group. So thank you guys so much for, I see a bunch of hearts flying across the screen. So um, everyone have an awesome rest of the week. I will be back on, I'm such a dork, I forgot to say this. Let me, I wonder if I can flip this back up real quick. Hold on, I don't like talking to you when I can't see you. Okay, there we go. Just ignore all that mess you see back behind me. Uh, what kind of letters was I using for the words? They're in my store, Gail. Um, I'm going to lift it up and show you again. And again, you can get these different stamps at Hobby Lobby and use your 40% off coupon too. This is what I have. And the link is in my Amazon store for that. And they're, they're pretty small, but I like them because they're like typewriter letters. I don't like the um, I don't like the ones I've seen at Hobby Lobby so far. They're, none of them look like this. Um, but what I was going to say tomorrow, or about tomorrow, <laughs> I am going live again tomorrow, but for a totally different thing. I'm not going to be teaching you guys tomorrow, but um, Jennifer Allwood is coming to my page, um, which is a really big deal um, for me. Like pinch me moment. Um, that she is taking the time to come to my page and do an interview with me about the success I've had over the last year and how Creators Roadmap has helped me. So if you guys want more information about that, definitely hop on tomorrow. She is coming over to my page um, at 1 p.m. and it'll be just about 20 minute interview. So I'm super excited to have her here. Um, I will be posting the link to Creators Roadmap down below. I'll post the free group and then you can message me if you have any questions as well. So had fun painting with you guys today. Here's our finished piece. Super cute, very fun. So can't wait to see what you guys make. Have a good afternoon, bye.